Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. The widget of the day is the image.asset widget and this one allows us to add images to our project. So let me show you how to do this by jumping into the code. So I've opened up a new Flutter project and the first thing to do is to get a picture that you want to add. So I've got here just a PlayStation picture. It's in a JPEG format but you can use PNG and other files as well. So if you open up the projects directory, if you go into the library folder, let's create a new folder inside here and call it images and drag your image into this folder. Cool, so that's the first step. We have to go back to our code and tell the project that we have added an image. So go to the pubspec.yaml file and this is where we're going to specify the sort of overall settings for the application. So if you scroll down, you can see the assets section and it says to add assets to your application, add an asset section like this. So what we need to do is to just uncomment this hashtag and we have to specify where the image is. So we place it in the library folder and then in there, we placed it in the images folder. So this is going to grab all the images in that folder. Make sure to save it. And then once that's done, let's go to our scaffold here. So in the body, let's create just a center widget. And now I can demonstrate how to use the image asset. So type in image.asset and inside, we're going to give it a string value that locates the image. So we placed it in the library slash images slash the name of the image itself. So you can see in the directory there. So I called it playstation.jpg. Make sure you have the file name .jpg as well or .png. Make sure to have that extension in there and save it. And there it is, there's our image. So there's a couple of things that you can play around with in this widget. And just to illustrate this clearly, I'm gonna wrap the image in a container and let's give it a height and a width of 200. And let's also give it a color so that we can see exactly what's going on. So you can see with a height and a width of 200, that is a square, right? But our picture has a ratio that's more taller than it is wide. So what you can do is if you look under the image widget, there's a lot of options to play around with. But the main one I want you to know is this fit property. So you're going to be using this one a lot. And so box fit, there's a number of options to choose from. So if I just show you the first one, boxfit.contain. If you hover over it, it conveniently shows you what it does and it gives you also a visual depiction of what's going on, right? So as large as possible while still containing the source entirely within the target box. So basically it's gonna fit the whole picture inside and that's what it is by default. Now, if I change this to cover and hover over it, it says as small as possible while still covering the entire target box. So this one's gonna fill up the rest of the space, meaning it's gonna clip off some, we're not gonna see the entire picture, right? Because we're filling up the space. And you can go for some of these other basic ones like fit width. So if I comment this out, so normally this is what it's gonna look like. And if I just make sure it fits the width, then it's gonna zoom in a bit so that I can fill up the width. And you can do the same thing for the fit height. And the last thing I'll show you is the fill option. So this one, it says fill the target box by distorting the source's aspect ratio. So all of the other options that I just showed you doesn't change the aspect ratio of the image, but this fill option is going to fill the entire box, but it's gonna change the aspect ratio so that we can show the entire image. Now that means the image is either gonna stretch in a particular direction. So to illustrate this even further, if I change the height to 500, you're gonna have the full image in there, but it's going to stretch out so that it can fill out the entire box. Now, just as a bonus tip, we can wrap this container in a clip R rect, which is the widget I showed in the last video. And if I give it a border, then you can clip this image so that it looks nice and round in the corners. Cool, so that's how easy it is to add a image to your Flutter project. Hopefully that was very clear and easy to understand. Let me know if you have any issues with this. I can come around and help you guys. But other than that, that's it for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters! Thank you.